Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Haber Bros YouTube channel. I'm Sam. I'm Henry. And uh, here's what we're doing today. Uh, short and sweet, we're going to talk about the wild card games. We're going to give our score predictions. We're going to give our winners. That's just about it, folks. Let's hop straight into this. All right, before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, make sure that notification bell is on so you get notified whenever we upload. And right now, I'll drop a positive comment, do whatever you want, comment section, and share this video. All right, so we're going to do, Sam already explained it, so forget that. So, Sam, list we're off starting. We're matchups. starting with AFC. Let's start with Chiefs, Pittsburgh. Who you got? What's your score right, prediction? The person I want to win, Steelers. I know that's not important. I want the Steelers. Why? Why would you want the Steelers? Not, not that you ben. should want. I don't really care. I do. I don't I care. I think Big Ben's had a great career, and he deserves to go decently far. And I do think they've had. A He's decent... won a Super Bowl. I know, but he, I feel like he needs to go decently far in this playoff. I so, don't feel like he needs to because he won't. I'm going close game, decently high scoring, 28-31. Steelers. I don't know. I don't know if Henry knows this, but the last time these two teams played, uh, Mahomes and the Chiefs won thirty-six to ten. And I believe they are more experienced. I believe they can win thirty-one to twenty-eight. What's your prediction? You, you predict the Steelers? Yes. Thirty-one twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna not... make fun of you so much. Ready? Here's my prediction. I have the Chiefs in a not so close game. I'm gonna take the Chiefs. Mm. I'll take the Chiefs 17 to um 17 to 28. Uh so I mean it's not a super close game, uh, but it's not a super blowout either. But 17 to 28 Chiefs in a pretty handling game. You know, they they control the game the whole way. Next game we have is Bills Patriots. Who you got? What's your I am personally so all of these games are in my opinion great matchups like oh, yeah but let, let's go uh, to your prediction bills patriots again this is one of the scenarios where i feel that the bills have been a little bit just a little bit declining i feel like the patriots have been a little bit declining i feel like those teams right now are a little bit even so i feel like this matchup could go either way not huge offense firepower either way um of the team I feel like I'm going 14 to 20 Patriots. 14 to 20 Patriots. Okay. Two field um, goals, two touchdowns. Yeah, obviously. That's also not necessary. We're just going with the score. I'm just saying. Um, okay. My prediction is going to be the Bills. Um, I believe the Bills are the better team. I think it was the conditions that they played in that really gave the Patriots the edge last time. Um, and Or that first time, rather. Uh, second time, conditions were good and Buffalo didn't dominate, but they played pretty dang well. So I'm going to take the Bills in this one. I'm going to take them, um, let's take them 27 to 21. So a relatively close game, but I'm taking the Bills. Uh, and that's So that. our next matchup is raiders Bengals. I feel like this one is rather obvious. I'm going to Bengals. They've been playing so well. I'm going uh, 35 to 14. This is not obvious. I believe that this could be the... Um, the playoff game of the uh, playoffs. I feel. Like this, I feel like this could be possibly, just possibly, the best game of the playoffs. Um, man, I really something in my gut is telling me to take the Raiders. You I bet. really, I re, I look. I am rooting for the Bengals in this playoff. I really, really want the Bengals to win, but I'm still, you know, not a dire Bengals fan. I'm a Saints fan, but I, I want the Bengals to win. They're the team I'm rooting for, and as I really, gosh, I really don't. You know what? My, something in my gut is telling me Raiders, and I got to go with my gut. I'm going with the Raiders. Uh, I'll take the Raiders, oh, man, in a pretty low-scoring game um, because if the, if the Bengals' offense is rolling, they usually win. So I'm going to take I'm gonna take the Bengal, or the Raiders 14 to uh, 20. No, I'll go 21-24 Raiders. Uh, All right, so yeah. our next matchup will be in the NFC, right? So, yes. what is our first NFC matchup? It's going to be Tampa Bay versus the Eagles. 
right now I'm taking Tampa. Tampa, uh, even I don't want them to get that far in the playoffs, but we have to be realistic here. Jalen Hurts, other than in um, Wheel of Money, is not that great of a... Are he's, you He's good. He's good. Me? He's not Are as, you? He's not the best. He's not top 10. No, but he's damn he's, near close. He he is not good enough to be on my like real real radar right now. Oh, he, he's on my radar. He is time. a good it, quarterback. Okay, you're yelling. He's nothing more than above average. I want you to take that back, and here's why. No. He has put up nearly identical numbers in his first 15 starts so compared Lamar to Lamar Jackson. Jackson. I don't care. Be that as it may. I am taking the, you know, everybody's talking about this could be the upset game. I think it could be. I'm going to take the, uh, sorry, not the Patriots, the uh, Buccaneers, though, uh, in a pretty handily game by them. I, I'm, I'm gonna, going six. I'm going to take them, hold on, I'm going to take them 31 to 24, but they kind of control the game the whole way. Um, next I'm going game, six to 17 bucks. that as it may <laughs> uh next game we're looking at is cowboys niners um right now i i don't believe in the niners not a single bit i don't that being said i'm taking the niners in this <laughs> one uh i will take them no i'm just kidding I'm, oh I'm, my <laughs> i'm gonna take the cowboys in an absolute nail biter i'm gonna take the cowboys Weird scores happen all the time. Let me think of a weird score. Nine um, to twelve. That's not a weird. Score. It is weird. But I'm gonna. You know, I'm just gonna take. I'll take the Cowboys thirty-one to twenty-seven. Um, in a great game, comes down to the last last drive. Niners have made it close all season long. I believe that this is a good Niners football team. Debo Samuel's unbelievable. I am going. He's, he's maybe my favorite receiver in the NFL to watch. I I'm mean, going thirty-one oh, to uh, let's say ten. Thirty-one to ten. Twenty-one 10. point blowout. Wow. Uh, next thing, next game, and our final game is Cardinals Rams. This um, is interesting, but the Cardinals have fallen off a decent amount after their first couple. Um, we not couple, but after their first, after the beginning of their schedule, they've really declined. Whether that be injuries or whatever, I feel Rams will win this game even after choking the Saints' playoff chances. Don't want to talk about it. We are upset. We are not going to talk about it right now. Uh, we'll have a rant probably sometime in the future. Whatever. Um, but I am taking Rams. Um, let's say. 21 to 17 over the Cardinals. It's a bad prediction. It's going to be a high scoring game. Uh, I am taking the Rams, but you know what? The, it, there seems to be a trend here. The team that ends up being the last team undefeated does pretty poorly in the uh, first round of the playoffs. That's what I'm <clears> saying. So I'm picking the Cardinals in a bit oh. of a blowout. Uh, I'm going to take the the Rams. Uh, I said Cardinals. I'm going to take the Rams. Oh. 34 to 12, 17. 34 to 17. I'm taking the Rams. They're going to beat the Cardinals handily. They're going to beat them good. Um, All right. And with so. that, thank you for staying the end. Um, we know this video came out like a tad bit late, but we are okay with that. We are happy y'all got your content. And we will see you next time.